Hi, and welcome to this section of the Differential Equations Tutor. In this section, we're going to switch gears a little bit and begin to talk about what we refer to as the Linear Differential Operator. The Linear Differential Operator. So it has a very complicated sounding name, but like most things in math and in science and physics and things like that, uh, the names are just can turn you off for really no good reason. This is really one of those cases. Uh, what we have here is a situation where in the last couple sections we wrote down what a linear differential equation looks like. And it's kind of cumbersome. I mean, and you can see that if you had a very complicated equation, writing those derivatives down with the subscript, with the superscripts everywhere, uh, you know, fifth order, fourth order, third order, and kind of keeping track of it all, is just going to get uh, cumbersome. You know, dx to the fifth over dt fifth and all that stuff. It's just going to be uh, cumbersome and complicated. So basically, uh, the smart mathematical folks before our time invented uh, operator notation is what we call it, linear differential operator. So it has a really ugly sounding name, it's really, really simple. Basically what it's going to boil down to is that when we write our differential equations from now on, um, we're typically used to seeing it like this. Uh, nth derivative of x with respect to time. So this could be second derivative, m would be 2, so d squared x dt squared. What we're going to do from now on most of the time in, in this guy is we're going to write that as the following. Instead of writing this big fraction with the differentials everywhere, the differential notation, we're going to write it in operator notation, which is a capital D with the superscript M X. Now make sure you understand what's going on here. So uh, what we have is, this is what we call differential notation from calculus. So we have a fraction D M -th uh, x dt to the nth power. What well, we're going to re rewrite it as anytime we see a capital D we know that it's dx dt basically or it's d dt really is what we're trying to say. The superscript tells us what derivative we're taking. The x is sitting out here much like this x is sitting out here. You can kind of think of this guy as operating on x. This whole derivative, this nth derivative with respect to t is operating on x here. That's what gives us uh, the derivative of that guy. Well, this is operating, this, this nth derivative, capital D, is operating on x. It's just that it's simpler since we're always dealing with differential equations, that if we just write a capital D down, we know it's, it's a derivative with respect to our independent variable. In this case, we're going to assume it's a function of time, but really, the independent variable, since these equations are all a function of one variable, could be whatever variable you want. Could be theta, could be uh, gamma, whatever, it doesn't matter, but typically in this course I've been using with respect to time, but you could be doing with respect to whatever. So when you do a capital D, it's basically saying take the nth derivative with respect to whatever variable we've been working with of whatever follows. So as an example, just to kind of nail it down and make it concrete, if I wrote down the following, Everyone knows this is the second derivative of x with respect to time. But notice how you have to put these twos everywhere. Ugly fraction bar, all this stuff, the little lowercase d's, hard to read. Well, if I were going to write it in operator notation, it would be d squared x. And it means exactly the same thing. The capital D means take a derivative. The with respect to time part is implied just because x is a function of time that we're dealing with. Um, capital D means d dt, basically. The squared means second derivative. And whatever follows, in this case it's x, is just like it is here. It's just sitting there and you're operating on, on x. So basically, that's, that's the way it works. And, and it's going to greatly simplify how we write our differential equations. And also some of the solution methods we use later. This, is, this notation is going to make it much easier. So as uh, examples, uh, 